Good morning, players. Did y'all miss me this weekend? I'm going to go ahead and keep it a stack with you. I missed y'all asses too. However, comma, I was doing a family thing. But baby, it's time to get back to the tea. Y'all go ahead and grab your tea and have a seat, honey. Let's talk about Salt Peter Navarro. Because baby, he's been ordered to report to the clink next week. Grab that tea. Have a seat. Let's get into it. So as we know, last year, Saul Peter Navarro was convicted on two counts of contempt of Congress for failing to testify before the January 6th Select Committee. Now, ever since he was convicted, he's been trying to backpedal and pussy pop out of reporting to the clean cutting. He's been trying to exert his executive privilege. Last month, the judge said, hell no to the no 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 when he filed his appeal and said that he has executive privilege because guess what he was working for frumpy to the motherfucking dump but frumpy dump never exerted his executive privilege over salt peter navarro so guess what that means that his ass is gonna have to report to the clink and the judge said enough is enough your ass is gonna have to turn yourself in by march 19th or there's gonna be more consequences and repercussions you hear what i'm saying so on Sunday, South Peter Navarro's Cracker Jack Box legal team made one last ditch effort to try to keep his ass out of the clink. They wrote the federal appeals court asking them to temporarily put his sentence on hold while he appeals his conviction. Now, if that effort fails, he could become the first key frumpy dump advisor to serve jail time over his efforts to overturn the 2020 election. Now, the judge who oversaw his case, um, declined to allow him to stay out of prison while the appellate process plays out. South Peter's Cracker Jack Box legal team argued that the question of executive privilege is out there, and they claimed that Frumpy Dump invoked that over his testimony before the House January 6th Select Committee. But the judge has disagreed, ruling last month that South Peter Navarro's appeal does not raise a substantial question of law, and therefore it doesn't warrant his release. So, South Peter has been ordered to report to a Miami prison on March 19th to begin serving a four-month sentence for refusing to comply with the January 6th Select Committee subpoena. So, South Peter Navarro's efforts to keep himself out of the clink <laughs> has been subverted by officers of the goddamn court. <laughs> Y'all know he's trying to keep himself out of there until... November when Frumpy Dump may be reelected so that way he could grant him a pardon but it's not going to happen for him honey <laughs> Saul Peter has been begging the Frumpy Dump tank snippers for money he's saying that his defense was going to cost millions and millions of dollars they haven't been paying up so I mean baby he might as well go ahead and take that midnight train to Miami I declare honey what a disgrace. All right, players, put your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. This is your girl, Double D Mobile, reporting once again for the Black Accurate News.